Good morning and welcome to Life University's Live Church. And this is your live host, the Reverend Dr. Donisi Palmer Wallace. So glad that you could join me for another segment. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Another new topic, a very interesting topic. There is within. There is within. Very unusual, and we'll get to that. We'll explain that. Before we do that, I am inviting you to join me in a grateful breath. Grateful for all that has taken us to this now moment. And in order to do that, you need to stop. Put down whatever you are thinking, whatever worry, whatever fear, whatever illness, whatever is happening. In this moment, just lay it aside. If it's not good, I would advise you not to take it up after this breath. And in this breath, become aware of life breathing you, aware of your inner space that is life itself, that is, that is space. Your everything is okay. And I want you to breathe in, breathe in. From that space of okay. Can we do that together? (sighs) Okay, there was a lot of talking before that. So I'm going to stop talking and invite you to join me in a breath of it's okay. And as you take and hold that breath, just, just believe it's okay. Be very grateful that it is so, okay? Let's do this together. Beautiful, beautiful. You are beautiful. Let's say that together. I am beautiful. Come on. I am beautiful. Wonderful. Today's topic, a little unusual, as I said, there is within. And as is usual, a little croaky this morning on the voice here. So, be forgiving to me. And I'm going to teach us a little chorus. Of course, the the words, you can sing your your own tune to it. But there are 16 lines to this little chorus. And believe me, or believe me not, I'm going to be singing it from pure spirit today because the words were given to me and I was told the music will come as I Sing it. There is love in the water. There is joy in the water. There is peace in the water. There is hope in the water. There is goodness in the water. There is medicine in the water. There is health in the water. There's abundance in the water. There is wisdom in the water. There is freedom in the water. There is beauty in the water. There is God in the water. There are words in the water. There is stillness in the water. There is play. There is play in the water. There is life in the water. <laughs> yes, there is life in the water. If you're joining me for the first time, yes, this is Life University's Life Church, and I am your life host, Dr. Reverend Dornicia Palmer Wallace. I'm smiling because, you know, life has some very unusual way of doing things. Fancy giving me words and then no tune and just giving me that tune. <laughs> I love to listen it back to learn it. Wonderful. So, Within these four words today, again, if you're just joining me, whatever is going to come out from whatever I'm saying today is fresh thought, life words. That is, I am depending 
on life. I'm depending on what you need for your life today to come forth through me as a catalyst for what life is saying and wanting to do in and through your life this day, right now, and the week to come. There. Within these four words is life. I want you to look at this. We have been told since we were born that we are as if taught that we are outside and we must guard that which is within. Yes? So that we as if we are the, the great big outside and God our life is this little thing, this fragile thing inside of us. But this morning, life would say to you, yes, you, point to yourself, you, touch your shoulders, yes, you, life would say to you, say together, life would say to me, life would say to me, what is life saying to you today? That you are inside life. What if life is happening around you? Ah, wouldn't things look different? You know, we were taught that. Ask God to come in. And then we bring God into our little space, our little heart space, our heart that is cluttered with fear, our heart that is cluttered with prejudice, our heart that is it, it has been broken. And so we are inviting God into this brokenness. No, 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 no. That is why we are we are ever working and striving to make it work. But the truth is. That you <laughs> is inside God and everything is happening around, around, yes, you are happening. It's happening in, in and around you. What does that mean? What is that? What am I saying? Don't, don't, don't close off as yet. You see, when life is happening around you, it makes everything possible because life is magnificent. The frequency that's around you is love. The frequency into which you are is peace. The, the frequency around you is peace. It's medicine. The life that's <laughs> that you're in is medicine. What does that mean for you? You don't feel like that, does it? Because we're we are sort of taking a breath. Where are we taking the breath from? We're taking the breath from what's around us. Yeah? So it's it's not just coming inside you and then working it's that you are in it there so wherever you look if you look to the right if you look to the left that's a there it's over there even when you look into the here it's a there there where here here where there it's all around there <laughs> there Point your finger out there. Point your finger towards you there. It's everywhere. There is everywhere. I love that. <laughs> I love that. There's a saying, you know, Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is there. The great law of the universe is there. The great law of the universe, which is Christ, is everywhere. It is there. Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is there. The great law of the universe, which is love, is there. Where? Here. Here, where? There. All around. You're surrounded. It is said that your body, our bodies, 
are made up of over 70%. That's what some dictionary says or some, you know, some place on the internet. Then you go into some scientific journalism and you see there in their studies that they're saying it's 80%. And if you go back to the founding fathers, you found that they were saying it was 90%. And I would go with that. I would say we are more on the border of 90 to over 90 percent of our bodies are made up of water. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? When we are fighting for that which is not water, we're fighting for that which is not really ourselves, our true selves. Most of our life, we are working for the skin. We are working for the bones. But it is what that lives us that's important. It's who we really are. And do you notice when you have a plant? I'm giving you some examples. I'm just throwing it out because we've got a short amount of time. Ten minutes in so far. And what have I said? These words are life-giving. If you could catch them, just catch one bit of it. You don't have to remember everything. Just remember that I'm water and that there is what? What did I sing? That there is love in the water. What did I sing? There is joy in the water. What did you hear? There is peace in the water. And guess what? There is hope in the water. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. There is hope in the water. Where's the water? It's around you. You're surrounded. Every cell in the nuclear, surrounded by water. And there is joy and there is peace. It's in the knowing. It's all about in the what? In the remembering. Do you know that water remembers? That's right. It has been scientifically proven. Water has memory. So when you get your water bottle, when you get your water bottle, I want you to speak these words over your water. We teach this at Life University. Love, joy, peace, hope, goodness, medicine, health, abundance, wisdom, freedom, beauty, God, words, stillness, play, life. Speak those words over your water. That's a prayer, that's a blessing, that's a proclamation, that's a declaration. Peace. If you don't have time to do all of it, you say peace, love, joy, health, abundance. You drink that water because the cells in your body needs to be reminded. You get a plant, as I was saying earlier, and get got off track. You have a plant and you don't water it. You see it begin to droop, it begin to shrivel, it begin to dry up. And you get some water, fresh water, and you put it on that plant. And not long, not long at all, the life in the water, the goodness in the water, the medicine in the water, all gets revitalized in the root of the plant in the stems of the plants or the flowers, and they begin to bloom. Well, I believe it's the same with us. You see, people that are consciously aware of life, consciously aware with gratitude, consciously aware in the and allowing life to have its way, people that are aware and in the now moment of all that is, you look at their skin, they don't have to worry. Their bones is being revitalized because they're aware of all that is around them. So today, life is calling you from within to remember that there is within. And we say that word quite, <laughs> quite um, sort of, I say, uneducatedly. If there is such a word. Well, I've created that word, okay? <laughs> it's okay. Within. What do you think about that word, within? We just say it, isn't it? it without thinking about it. Within. 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 There is 
And there, so we looked at the word there. I'm going ahead of myself. What about is? There is. You see, that's that's the beauty. There is. You see, once the plant goes, the water went on the plant. It was sure, it is sure that the plant is going to be revitalized. Because at that time, it's present, is. That word is, is wonderful. There is. Is, is always present. Within is, is everything. You get it? Is, is, is. There is. If you notice on the screen here, it says there is, and then there's dot, dot, dot. Whatever you desire today, I mean, whatever good you desire, because, you know, sometimes we throw that out. Whatever you want, you can get. Well, that's foolishness, isn't it? Because some people just want to eat the wrong things. They want to, um, you know, do useless things. Well, that don't work, okay? But whatever you desire that is good and useful and pleasant and beautiful and powerful and good, whatever is right and good, you know, you know that. If you've been listening to Life University's Life Church, you know that whatever is good and right, it's okay to have to be and to do. Yes? So there is dot, dot, dot. Whatever you want, you put it in those little dot, dot, dot. That's what the dot, dot, dot is there for. That's what that space is there for. There is. There is love in the water. That's life that's surrounding you because water is life. There is joy in the water. So we are always looking outside of ourselves. But whatever you're looking for outside of yourself, to be truthful, the self that you're looking to, 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 to be better, can be better, is better, is best. Why? Because there is water all around you. There's water in you. You are water. Yes. The rest is doubt. That's secondary. Let your doubts be the secondary the non-existent, and come into this now moment within, okay? Within. There is within. There is within. And how does the there is? Remember I said there is everywhere. It's here. It's there. It's wherever. That means whatever the situation. So, we are normally truthful now. There is we are normally worried about what might be. Yeah? Is that true? And we are normally afraid of what has been. Because we are thinking that's inflected, you know, uh, within our, our present moment. And then we are thinking that within our present moment, where well, we're not even in the present moment, because we are we are shifting always between the what was and what might be. But if you could see possibility. In the this, in that possibility is, it is possible, then the door is open to you. That's the miracle. Honestly, that is the miracle. There, which is here, and everywhere. So the thing that you're concerned about, whether it's it's about wisdom, whether you don't know, you don't know, you don't have the answers. Remember last week I said you have access, you have access to all the answers. And all the answers is around you. Around you where? There. Around you there where? Here. If you believe that and remember that at a crucial moment. And when is the crucial moment? In every breath. In the now moment. And in the now moment, there's always an is. So there is freedom. That's what we really need, isn't it? Freedom. Freedom from worry. Freedom from debt. Freedom from pain. And where is it? It's there. It's here. The freedom is here. God is here. The word, the word, say the word, is. Say the word. You just have to say the word. You, you can speak to your mountain. You can say the word. Be cast into the sea and it's, it's gone. Because what? Life is in the word. You won't be able to talk if you didn't have life. That, that's basically what I'm saying. Within. Within everything. That's basically what I'm saying. There is. There is an is in everything. Within everything there is 
There is. There just is. There is. Just say that with me. There is. You might think it don't make sense. That's okay. There is. There is sense in what I'm saying. There is stillness in the water. Are you troubled today? Remember that man that was sat by the water and people was going into the water and they were getting healed, but he believed he couldn't, he needed somebody to put him in the water. And every time he waited for somebody to put him in the water, somebody else went in. And why, why did he need to go into this water? Because it was so sad that the angel came down and touched the water at certain time of the day. So people would just hang around. They would bring sick people there. They would come and they would just jump in at that moment when the water was troubled. So it's when the water moved. And so could you imagine their eyes would be on that water nonstop. They were present. They were present because they had to see when the water moved to jump in. If they were in it, it no, that's not it. They had to be focused so that when the water moved, they were at that time. And he kept missing out. He kept missing out. Because there is in the water. But he wasn't present. He wasn't able to be in the water. And then, so the word said that God, God walked by in the person of Jesus and said to him, Behold, be well. There was such healing in those words. And he believed those words. At that moment, he became well. There is life in your words. Because life is in you. There is life in you. Through your breath, life comes to us each day. 23,040 times each day, we take that breath. And there is wisdom. There is beauty. Maybe you're looking around today and you just see ugly. Maybe you see your circumstances as ugly. Maybe you're looking into your body and you're feeling into your body and there is ill health. Is that true? When all around you, there is medicine. There is health. As you drink in that knowing, that truth, you shall be free. You shall know the truth and the truth you know will and is your freedom. What did, what did I just say? Is your freedom, will be your freedom. There is love in the water. There is joy in the water. There is water all around you today. That water is life itself. And within life itself, there is joy. There is enough. There's enough for you to be satisfied. There's enough for you to be fulfilled. There is within. Because all around you, there is life. Start looking from this vantage point. Start believing from this vantage point. Start living and feeling from this vantage point. That all around you, all around you, it, it, it's like reversing it, okay? It's like looking from the inside out, within, okay? So within, within, within. There is abundance within. There is peace. <sighs> Cannot help being within you. Cannot help being within you because you're inside. Can you see that? You're inside peace. It's, you see, you have had turmoil. Because you, 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 you believe that you, you know, that, that with what we are talking about was, um, you know, oh, it's, it's, oh, this is amazing. Do you know what my, it's as if my head, my whole being is, is just full of light. And it is because it's true. The truth is all around me. And I am within. You're safe within. Can you see that? Can you feel that today? 
Can you feel the safety all around you? It is not you looking out for life, but life looking out for you, life surrounding you. You don't have to protect the God inside. It's God all around you. The peace is all around you. There is within. Within you, because it's all around you. Okay? Work that out. Simplify it. Just come into that realization. We started with taking a breath and we're going to take a grateful breath in the knowing that the space from which you're breathing in today is love, is light, is peace, is hope, is goodness. Keep breathing. It's medicine. Keep breathing. It's health. Suck it in today. It's abundance. It's wisdom. It's freedom. Suck it in. It's beauty. God. It's the word. It's stillness. It's play. It's life itself. Never, life will never be the same. Things will never be the same. It's going to be great this week. As you drink your water, <laughs> let it be a reminder that all that you desire is all, already there. Isn't that wonderful? Life bless you today. This is your life host, the Reverend Dr. Donicia Palmer Wallace. Signing out right now? Leave us a thumbs up. Send this on to somebody else. And better still, leave a comment or a prayer request, and we'll be sure to pray and to remember you this week. Well, we remember you anyway. Thank you. Thank you for those who have um, been donating. And you can donate through PenPal, through PayPal. PenPal? Where did that come from? You can donate through PayPal. And the address is lulifechurch at gmail.com. So, when you go to the PayPal site, thank you for those that have been given to us and you've been given to us through the G, uh, LU Life Church at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Have a great, fulfilling week knowing that there is within, okay? There is within. There is within. And what is? Joy, peace, love, health, wisdom, beauty, God, the word. The word that you need to set you free is within. It's there.